Hello, this is Mr. Huff, and let's talk about kinetic energy. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this little video. So first thing we need to do is write down the formula. So the formula for kinetic energy is K equals one half mv squared, which is a squared divided by two. I because it's easy to easier. So so we have K. And that means kinetic energy is measured in joules. M is for mass. It has to be measured in kilograms. And V is for velocity. It can only be in meters per second. Okay. So those are the symbols, what they mean, and the units you need with this formula. Okay. Let's think about a problem. We have a mass of four kilograms of a lot of seven meters per second. So it's something like this. A four kilogram mass is traveling across the field at seven meters per second. What is the kinetics mass? So what we're looking for is K and what it is, but we do know it's gonna be in joules, which is represent case J. Our equation that we're gonna use is K equals MV squared over two. So then we're just going to substitute. So that means K equals 4 times 7 squared divided by 2. And when you plug that into your cal parenthesis, 4 times 7 squared, close parenthesis, you get your answer. All right, when you're doing these, on, you'll just put in the number. Uh, go to four important numbers. This one only had, if it was uh, 98.12345, you would put 98.12. But just uh, indicate your answer here. You're going to put the number in, and you're going to indicate your unit on the paper that you do your work to identify units here. Let's talk about that. You need to identify the units here with your answer, and you need to identify the units here with your unknown and that way you will remember what you're looking for sometimes i'll give you problems and by the time you get to your answer you forgot what you're looking for all right so real quick that is a crash course in calculating kinetic energy so we talked about the formula what the formula means and then i did an example problem One more thing we need to talk about is what if I ask you to solve for velocity? So let's look at the same view, a kinetic energy. And I gave you a mass. What we're going to look for is velocity. So we know second. the equation we're going to use, we're going to start from and we're going to solve for so square root of two times that to this point, come see me and we'll. So now we're going to do some subs. We're going to do the square times 98 over four. And when you run that through your answer, seven meters per second. And we know that because it's the same as same numbers from uh, one of the things you need to pay on your calculators. Uh, on a TI calculator, you would see the square root sign and 98. Close the parenthesis, divide by 4, close the parenthesis. This is what it should look like on your... If you don't put two parentheses here, it's going to multiply 2 times 98, take the square root of that value, and then divide by 4, and it's going to give you the wrong answer. So this. I would suggest maybe going 2 times 98, and then divide by 4, and then take the square root of that value.